you tell your players at the end? Well, we learn a little bit when we lose. I mean, that's the first loss for a while, I think, well, since last season. So um, I think we'll just see a little bit of character. There's a lot of games. We, we don't want to lose any, but we know that's a possibility. It's a disappointing loss, but we've got a lot of games coming up, so we've just got to bounce back quick. How do you assess the, the play at the other end of the pitch going forwards in that second half? Yeah, it was disappointing. Um, I mean, we had two, two or three big chances, you know. I think uh, Dion's chance, uh, Ruben's chance is massive. Um, but for the volume of ball that we have, it's not enough in the final third. I just felt, certainly first half, we created some good openings, but we just didn't pull the trigger. Um, <clears throat> we just wanted one, one extra pass, one, one maybe a little bit too clever uh, in the final third when I think we can just be a bit more clinical. So, um, yeah, I just think we can be a bit more ruthless when we get into the final third. These unbeaten runs always come to an end, don't they? Mm. Um, so with that in mind, I mean, you've been unbeaten for the first seven games. So last thing I want to do is start throwing babies out with bath water and anything like that. But how do you not do that, but also work on what happened here today to, to ensure it's, it's, well, it's better next week? I think everything is part of like, you know, we, we're seeking to improve all the time. So, um, you know, we've had seven games we haven't lost. Now we've lost. But uh, and in those seven games, we've had some really good bits, some, some bad bits. You know, I've been very honest in, in all of the interviews when I've said I don't think we've been good enough in certain parts and we can be better. Um, and in the first, you know, we've said we haven't started games well. First 30, we create some chances and we're on the front foot, pin them back in their in their own half. Um, but then after that, you know, once they get the goal, it unraveled a little bit. So uh, listen, it, you lose games. That's part of football. Uh, we don't like it. We're not happy with it. But uh, there's plenty to learn from it. It's not exactly been the most ideal of preparation for this one, losing your goalkeeper and having three of your, your senior and most stereotypical kind of centre-halves all out injured. How has that disrupted things? Well, yeah, like you say, I mean, three centre-backs and a goalie before the game was far from an ideal situation for us. Um, so it's something that we had to deal with. I thought the lads that came in, I thought uh, Anthony in goal uh, and Kieran at centre half did very well. The, the you know considering they've had one or two sessions with us, um, you know it's certainly not on them. Uh, I think just in other areas of the pitch we could have been much better. Did you ever look at that today and think, oh that looks a little disjointed, perhaps because we don't have so and so out there? Um, yeah, I mean, that, it, of course, we, we get into a rhythm of how we want to play and then you change things around. I think we have four or five changes today, so it's never ideal, but I still think we have more more than enough on the pitch to win the game. I think they plucked us off a couple of times on the counter, but they never really had big established attacks. It was it was counter-attacks where we've maybe missed a pass and they've transitioned well, but other than that, um, you know, we have a lot of the ball. We just, we've got to be far more clinical when we get to the final third. Could you have gone a bit more direct at times in the second half? Yeah I, th uh, yeah, I would say towards the end, when we put two strikers on, I just said to them then, you know, uh, what I'm disappointed with is at the end of the game we have two strikers plus Ruben, plus Cal, plus Aaron, um, but we build up to feet with five and, and we've got to be a bit more, we've got to get more balls into the box towards the end there um, and put more pressure on them. So yeah, sure, we, we should have done that. Cal picked up his fifth booking today, which means he's going to miss next weekend. Five in, in eight games already. That seems he's picking them up at quite a clip. Yeah, I mean the the ones for tackles is that's part of the game. We're disappointed with the ones where it's for you know petulance and um, uh, back chatting to the ref. But listen, he's suspended, so um, you know he'll get a rest and prepare for Halifax. So you'll be without him next weekend. Is there any chance that you'll be able to get any of the players that are currently out injured back? I think not. Uh, maybe, maybe one, um, but uh, it's going to be tough. So we're going to have to listen. We're going to have to weather it a little bit. We, we're missing obviously now. Be like four or five players for next game. But listen, that's going to happen to every team during the season, and I think we've just got to be able to deal with it. It's an early test for you though, and once we wheel round into October, you look at the teams and you start to think, well, those teams are going to be probably up there finishing higher than the teams that we've already played so far. So with that in mind, it might come at the worst possible time. No, I mean, you know, sometimes you get a little wake-up call early and you get a game. I mean, you know, other teams have, have of course, dropped points and, and, and lost games and they've probably uh, used that as a springboard. So I think we've just got to look at ourselves and, and say, what, what do we need to do better for the next game and go with that.